Hello everyone, your girl Esther the Cake Queen coming to you with another Cake Biz Chat. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about feeling discouraged, feeling overwhelmed. Hi Cake Friend and welcome to the Home Bakers Hive YouTube channel, a place where bakers get together to learn how to run a profitable baking business. Like, comment and subscribe and let's grow together. You know, just wanting to quit. If you have any of these feelings, then I really just want to reach out to you today. And um, this is from a place of love. And when I'm doing this, I really just want to reach out to you to let you know that it is not over. It is totally not over with you. Right? Okay, so as an entrepreneur, one thing that we really need to acknowledge is that we will feel discouraged along the way. We will definitely feel lonely. We will feel like our family, even our spouse may not understand. If you are passionate about this, try to find at least one person that understands you. Try to find at least one person that can just be your pillar of support. And I mean, that is not always easy to find. And that is why I want to invite you to join our Facebook group. It's, it's a community of like-minded people that come together from all over the world to really just support each other on their baking journeys. And I'm not doing this to literally just invite you to our Facebook group, but today I'm talking to you, know, you if you are feeling overwhelmed, stressed, you feel like you're not making the bookings that you want. You probably don't have the money to invest in your cake business to take it forward, right? I really just want you to, first of all, take a mental break, sit down, make reflections, journal, write down what are the things that make you happy about this baking business? Um, is it something that if this one obstacle or if this one thing that's really bothering you right now, is it something that if we could take that out of the equation, is, is, is it something that you want to do in the future? Think about your baking future. Think about the possibilities. What is possible for you if you take away this one obstacle? Um, you know, as a cake business coach, I do get clients that are coming to me telling me that clients are bashing them like their clients are bashing them like they feel like they want to give up simply because, you know, they feel like their clients are not kind enough. They have these, you know, negativity towards them in their cake business. Some, some say um, that they have a lot of cake makers in their area. They're just not making enough profit and their prices are too cheap. And it doesn't look for them like they will make a profit. Now, for each of these questions or for each of these concerns, I obviously have a different response. But one of the things that I want to tell you today is that, obviously, I've said it before, if you sell to everyone, you sell to no one. Find your ideal client. Position yourself as an expert in your field. Position yourself to be the expert. Even if there are so many cake makers, you couldn't possibly be telling them that they all have the same quality, that they all do the same thing. Try to find where is it that you could make your baking different? What are the areas that you could invest in? If you cannot go for a cake training course, go to the University of Everything, which is YouTube, right? And Google some of those unique cake um, you know, tutorials that are going to make your baked goods stand out. And most of all, if you feel stuck, please do leave a comment you know, for me on this video so that I can reach out to you. I would like to reach out with a, a clarity coaching call. I like to take a few of these calls once in a while. So every once in a while, I'll come back to this video and I'll definitely check who are the people that I've not reached out to. And again, um, I do this for free just to, you know, help you with a little bit of strategy. I do 30 minute coaching calls. So once I clear my schedule once in a while, I really like to come back and find those clients that booked for clarity coaching calls. So go on the wait list for that so that, you know, we can have a chat and we can see how we can help each other on this baking business journey. But then, <clears throat> excuse me, if you are feeling stuck, if you feel like you are overwhelmed, if you feel overworked, you know, sometimes it's not about you not getting enough cake orders. Sometimes it's like you are just flooded with cake orders so much that, you know, you just really need a break. OK, and a break is necessary. But as I said, for each of the concerns that you have, I obviously have a different response. If you feel like, you know, you are feeling overwhelmed because you have so many cake orders and you cannot decline them, then Instead of taking this one big break, 
try to take small wait, uh, small breaks throughout your baking weeks. Every week, take a day off. Every month, take a day or two off. You could even take a week off. Really depends on how busy your baking business is. Because I know of cake makers that quit their baking businesses just because they are getting too many cake orders and they decide, decided to do something else. So the overwhelm can be real and it can be on both ends. It can be from a positive perspective, from a negative perspective, from a negative perspective because things are not working out for you, from a positive perspective because things are working out so good for you that you don't know how to handle everything. I have a video on time blocking right here that I want you to check out. Please do check out that video on time blocking. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, see how you can use your time more productively. I've linked down in the description some really useful videos and um, resources that you can use to um, help you grow um, in your baking business. And I'm really hoping all the best for you. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling overworked, if you are feeling like quitting because things are not working out for you, then, I mean, especially if things are not working out for you because, you know, you don't have the money to invest in your cake business or so. I really want to encourage you to tell you that it's not all about the money. Sometimes it's about the initiative. Sometimes it's just really about the initiative. If you can watch YouTube videos, try to position yourself differently, you know, choose your clients. Even if you are in a small town where there are, you know, 30,000 people, what's really important is that you start selling to the right clients. You need to start selling to the right clients. You need to start selling again to the right clients, okay? And if you are not selling to the right clients, then honestly, you will have this problem that's consistently coming back to you. Um, again, I've left some useful video links, ideal client training, my free resource library, my clarity coaching course. Get those resources and let's grow together. I'll see you in the next one.